3D modelers, in this screencast we're going to model our fin. So we are in the sketch for our fin and we have precisely placed these notches. And now we're going to model this one shape that we will cut out several times. So that's the shape that I kind of have in my mind's eye um, as I am modeling. So we'll come over here and we'll use the spline. And this is the fit point spline. This is the quick action place to go pick it up. I'm going to come in here and hover over the corner of the notch and start to click. And now I'm going to start clicking away and placing random points that I can come back later and model. I'm going to finish back here, right on the corner of that. And I'm going to stop there. I'm going to start just above, click again, and give myself some more points to work with. Finishing up back here. Click on that check mark. Okay, now I have sort of an awkwardly shaped object. And now I can, I'm going to scoop out, uh, I can just click on these points and move them around. If I double click, I don't want to move that, cancel that. But I, I do want to get these handles, right? So you can see how you can go in there and work. You can move both the points and then click again and then you can play with the handles. As you're working on these, we only have like two pieces of um, wood this size, which is the 10.5. I actually like that shape. It's a slightly like a boomerang shape. There's a certain elegance to this. I'm liking this. I think actually I might leave it almost like that. I'm going to fiddle a little more, but I'm going to do it off camera so I don't take your time to do it. Um, but please keep in mind, we're, we only have... 10.5 times 17 inches. You can do this twice. I'm going to show you how to pattern these. Um, but be modest in the size of the forms that you're going to make. Having said that, I'm just going to take a break here and I'm going to um, perfect this modeling. All right, so I am happy with this shape and now I'm going to extrude it. That was E for extrude. This is the body I want to extrude. I often find it's helpful to push home um, so I can see this at an angle and that presents this arrow in a very un understandable orientation. So I'm going to pull out this way and I'll type in 0.125. And now we have our first fin. And at this point, we will start to pattern it.